Welcome to Marvelous Designer Tutorial Series. Mattress Cover For those using 9.5 and up, we have grouped more tools for a cleaner user interface. Please, long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. In this course, we will make a mattress cover. First, bring up the bed frame. The file can be downloaded from the link in the text. Hold down the Shift key and select all the objects you don't need. Deactivate. Hide. Press number key 5 to switch the mattress to the top view. Click and drag with the rectangle tool to create a mattress cover pattern. The size of the square is determined by considering the amount of ramping on the sides and back of the mattress, based on the shadow of the mattress. Gizmo appears when you click a pattern in the 3D window. Click the direct positioning icon at the top right of the gizmo. Place the pattern by clicking the desired location on the mattress. To compare the size of the mattress and pattern in the 3D window, Change the pattern display setting to Opaque Surface. Simulate. Change the color of the fabric to see the pattern better. The pattern enters the inside of the mattress. This happens because the particle distance is the default 20. If the particle distance is large compared to the size of the object, this phenomenon occurs because the collision is not handled well. Reduce the pattern's particle distance to 10. If simulated, the pattern and the mattress collide, and the pattern is taken out of the mattress. Round the corners with a smooth, curved tool. Right-click to bring up a pop-up window while clicking and dragging. Click the Link button on the right side of the Line Length Input menu and enter the number 100. Round the all four corners. Apply an elastic value to the pattern outline so that the cover covers the mattress. After selecting the pattern, check Elastic. Simulate. After selecting the 3D window, press the number key 0 to change to the bottom view. Since the mattress is not wrapped with the basic 80%, the value is lowered. Since the mesh is still large, lower the particle distance value to 5. Although fine wrinkles are there, but it seems the density of mesh is not enough. Reduce the particle distance value to 3. Let's compare the various wrinkle types while changing the fabric preset. Because the elasticity of the fabric is different for each preset type. Adjust elastic value to create desired wrinkle shape.
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.